free speech. The First Amendment. Protects your right to say whatever you want, whenever you want, from the U.S. government. However, the First Amendment does not protect your speech in other areas. In other words, it doesn't protect you from fallout, from, I don't know, getting sued for making claims that you have no proof on or you know are blatantly lies. That's the situation we have here with Tasha K on the right and rapper Cardi B on the left. Tasha K made inflammatory claims about Cardi B for months on her up until a few months ago wildly successful YouTube page. And first, Cardi B tried to be diplomatic, sent her a cease and desist, telling her, telling her to please take those videos down. You know what you're saying is not true. Cardi B was not only defiant, she kept the videos up and kept making videos about that. Well, Cardi B took it to the next level. And the next level was taking her to court and suing her for defamation, which, um, spoiler alert, Cardi B won that suit. And now the $400 million judgment, which was levied against Tasha K. And by the way, Tasha K is still being defiant even after losing that judgment. Word is Tasha K is trying to find is um has went to Morocco as of recently. Now she could be just going on there on vacation, but many are rumoredly saying, notice how I'm covering myself, unlike Miss K, are rumoredly saying she may be trying to find somewhere down there and trying to find an out to protect her assets because Cardi B has started the process of garnishing her money to pay for the lawsuit. And if that is true, she has every legal right to do that. And Tasha K, what she's doing, which legally she has every right to do that as well, but it's rather shifty on her part. Considering she was the party that was doing wrong. She knew her claims against Cardi B, lover or hater, were false and had no evidence to back it up, yet she continued to make them anyway, even after Cardi B gave her the chance to stop and take the videos down. Tasha K could have a still have a successful YouTube page right now. Right now, and still making her money right now. But instead, she is about to be broke or damn near or damn well near it. And she has no one to blame but herself. People in general, but I'm talking specifically to black to my black people here. Y'all got to we all do, but y'all got to stop stop um, messing with people. You know, leave people alone. You know, let people live their lives. Let them mess up. Let them succeed. Let them fall on their own merits. Life is hard enough as it is. And I don't know. We've made it almost an art form with just screwing with people just for giggles, just for views. Well, here's the thing. You don't know what that other person is capable of. You don't know if he'll flip out and shoot you or even worse, he got he or she may have more money than you and takes things to the next level or they know people who can make your life hard, which that's even worse than being killed in some ways. Because at least when you get shot with the bullet, it's over. Tragic, yes, but it's over. 
Whereas this, in some ways, this is even a worse fate. So the lesson here is, and I'm just going to put it in in a vulgar way, don't f with people that ain't f with you. In other words, if they ain't messing with you, leave them alone. Or if you approach them, have enough sense to just say, hello, how you doing? No, that's just called being polite. They ain't got nothing to do with trying to be white. And yeah, I've had that thrown up at me before. Instead of ask, instead of trying to approach them and ask them goofy questions that really are none of your business, which really you don't really care about, you're just trying to get a rise, just say hi, how you doing, and keep it moving. You know? Yeah, life might be a lot more boring, but you will you won't end up in mess like this. People need to take the Tasha K thing as a cautionary tale. Anyway, that's all my two cents on this situation. I'm out.